as long as the Lord is pleased with you and you know that he told you to do something, then you do it because you are going to be the one that's going to get rewarded. And he will make your your the, your enemies or whoever's telling you not to do that, he will make them up to be a fool. He'll make them look foolish. So all you got to do is just keep doing what you're doing. And while you're out there becoming, because you're going to be a wife before, you got to be married to Christ first. So once he does that and you feel like, oh, I'm married. I feel like I'm married to the Lord. This is my husband. You do everything for him. Keep him in everything you do. And then the next thing you know, he going to tell you, he going to fill it in your spirit. Your husband, I'm going to get you ready for a husband. Next thing you know, yeah, it happened the way he wanted it to happen. So everybody's story is different. Everybody has a specific plan that was designed from God. Special. God loves us so much that he is giving us another chance to get it right. But for so many of us, by the end of 2021, it's not. It's going to be bad. And you do not want that. You don't want God's wrath is here. And again, we are paying for our sins. We are reaping what we've been sowing since this pandemic on a higher scale. There is nothing new under the sun. This is just on another level. So he wants us to get on this wave, the wave of righteousness, he wants you to pick up your cross and follow him. Not the world, not your husband, not your girlfriend, not your boyfriend, none of that. Your children. He said, pick up your cross and follow me. We can't go seek him through anybody else. He said, come to me yourself. Show yourself approved. Come to me with fear and trembling. Fear God. Not man. So we have a short time. So if he's calling us, answer the call. Answer the call. 